see this sewing machine here. Someone had posted it to my local Buy Nothing group during a highly inconvenient time for me, but I had to jump on the opportunity. I currently have a lot going on in my household, just some construction, some kid stuff, just general life stuff. And this opportunity arose over the 4th of July weekend, which we were having a family gathering that weekend. And uh, I am the cook of the family and I have a lot to do, but the opportunity arose and I had to take it because I've long wanted a treadle machine or even a hand crank, just something to use during power outages here in my area that they happen annually. And this was left out in the elements so you see me here scrubbing it down with some water and some soap just to get off the initial grime. It will need to be refinished, but uh, it has a new home now here and I'm very excited about it. Whew. Uh, I didn't know how much these weigh and uh, my husband's outside building something. So I decided just to, you know, strong arm this myself um today this is new to me it's my very first treadle i gotta clean it up it's pretty dark here in this room at the moment i'm trying to keep it cool it's pretty warm outside but uh if you can see this this is beautiful uh it looks like it's sat for sometime either outside or in a garage. It's pretty dirty, so easy cleanup. So this is what it came with. It's a 1917 Singer 66. Uh, so this is my second one that I own and all the drawers and I have a box of attachments to go through. Um, it's pretty exciting. A bunch of attachments. Oh, I don't have one of these. A oil can. And this looks like a. Oh, it feels like there's a little something in it. Clear right. Boston Mass. Huh. Made in the USA in a metal can. Okay. Yeah, we got some bobbins. Always good, always good. Okay, this feels like it's saturated with oil. So I'm gonna grab it very carefully. I'm actually gonna stop recording. Okay, I got it up and unfortunately it's just gonna be super glaring because it is saturated with oil. But it's the booklet for this. I don't have this. Um, mine was a, my current 66 was upgraded with a potted motor. I'm gonna see if I could lay this out, absorb some of the oil. I know you can download this stuff online, but there's nothing like the real, real deal. Very cool. Um, I have no idea how to use a treadle, and in theory, in theory I do. I have never used one, so this will be my first go around once I, once I clean her up. She's a little dusty, but actually in pretty good condition everything moves uh so far so i'm gonna clean her up and go from there as mentioned i didn't really have time for this project it just kind of fell in my lap and i had to take it uh, but i did want to do some light cleaning and unfortunately that is all that i do in this video is just some really light cleaning because being exposed to elements it 
does require me to do a little bit more than what I'm doing here. Uh, as in a previous video or any of my pr previous videos, I basically just start off with some oil and a soft rag uh, and maybe a toothbrush like I'm doing right here just to really get some stuff out. And just to do an initial cleaning to see what I'm working with. Is there rust? Is there some kind of weird substance that is sticky? <laughs> I just take my time and look things over, remove face plates, um, you know, hit it with a Q-tip to remove big dust bunnies, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm doing to this right here. Okay, normally when it's not 80 degrees out here in the PNW, I would take this apart and give it a full, full cleaning. However, since this machine is new to me, even though I have a Model 66, I am going to take it easy and just get it in place to see if it runs, moves, works. Anyway, things were just really dry and dusty so far. So I'm just gonna kind of leave everything intact. I'm probably gonna change that needle, but I'm not gonna do a full cleaning. Due to the aforementioned heat recently and uh, just the activity that I mentioned that I have going on in my household, I did have to shelf this project. Uh, everything actually looks really good. I just really need to clean it. Um, like I mentioned, I believe it was left outside or in a garage exposed to the elements. A lot of scrubbing has to happen, a lot of vacuuming little you know, dust bunnies hidden here and there. Uh, otherwise, everything seems to be in functioning order. The belt is great. I kind of dabbled a little bit uh, with the foot pedal. I have no idea what I'm doing. So if you have some tips for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments and there will be an update on this in the near future. But as always, thanks for watching.